Hey guys, welcome and thank you for joining us. You're watching Opera Studio right here on Cape Town TV. As always, my name is Danny Kamba. I've got Lindy with me in the studio, who's, got, who's from an amazing organization called the Santam Foundation. She is head of marketing. Wow. I know marketing is one of the, one of the, the difficult things that one can do. Because I've, I've, I've been you know, really thinking about doing some research about marketing. And it's like one of the most difficult things to do. And it sounds like you, you, you got the hang of it. Somehow. All right, so for those that's watching at home that's, that's seeing you for the first time, can you give us a, a little bit of description about yourself before we start? Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Lindy Wei Mtembu. I'm originally from Devon, but I've been in Cape Town for, for, for 15 years. Oh, yeah. 15 years is a long time. Yes, so yes, tell yes. me about your background where, in Durban. How, how was growing up like for you? Growing up in Devon was... Uh, was fun because I grew up with my with my uh, siblings. I have yeah. siblings. They I've got cousins, a lot of cousins. So we all grew up together in the same. We grew up in my grandmother's house. Like yeah. we were like a lot of us. So it was really fun. But then uh, again, uh, being independent at the very young age, that was also a bit challenging yeah. for me. But I've made it. Oh yeah. Because here I am. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, do you know what made you have, what made, what was the reason that you had to become independent or is that confidential? Yeah, it, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's confidential. Yeah, it's I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah many, many young girls go through a lot of issues where they have, they are forced to become independent at a very young age. You know, so did you discover at a very young age that you wanted to go into marketing? Or is this something that you adapt to because of how society is going um, these days? I've decided at the very young age, um, because also because of the challenges that I faced growing up. Yeah. So I've decided uh, even uh, also uh, giving back to the community because I know growing up and being independent at the young age, how it feels like. Yeah. So my goal was to, um, to give back and advise uh, young kids in the community on how to um, take care of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So how did you get into this organization mm -hmm. and, you know, to, to, to make use of the expertise? Through a friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've met a friend. Her name is Tabang. We've been friends for over seven years. We've known each other for over seven years. But he, she introduced me to this in, um, when... Um, I think it was early last year. Yeah. Yes, because the organization started in March last year. So uh, she in, she invited me, and I I was happy to join the organization. Wow. Yeah. So I mean, <coughs> my apologies. You are a very very beautiful lady, mm -hmm. and you mentioned earlier on that you are also into beauty and and hair. So did you go into organization doing beauty and hair? Or you said doing marketing? No, I was doing, <laughs> it was only beauty and yeah. hair. That's what, uh, that's my passion. That's what yeah. I'm passionate about. But then again, I wanted to um, do something different mm. in giving back to the community. Yeah. Yes. And then I said, okay, during my spare time, let me do this and change lives. All right, Lindy. So you mentioned that you, you are doing um, marketing within the organization, you know. And there's many young people out there that is also wanting to do marketing. How do you find marketing, you know, as a profession? Is it something easy to do, or did you also have to to read a lot and learn a lot about? It's not easy to do. Actually, it's something that you have to you 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 have to learn a lot mm. about it, and you have to commit yourself mm. in doing it. But then at the end, you get it right. Mm. If you do something that you are passionate about, then it helps yeah. a lot. Mm. Are, there, are there any people out there that you look up to that you think are good role models and good influence to you? Yes, there are. There are people out there that I look up to. Then I believe if they can do it, I can also do it. Yeah. 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 Wow. So in the organization that you're working on, you're giving help to the communities. You know, you say that it's, it's very close to you that you give back, you know, and try and help because you also had difficult times growing up. Yes. You know, so... If you look at your own background and you see what people are going through today, especially with the COVID-19, emotionally, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel sad because I know how difficult difficult it is. Because sometimes I even uh, 
found, I found myself very blessed because the challenges that I had are even, the challenges that they have now are even more than what I've been through. Mm. Yeah, because now there's COVID, there's a lot is happening right now. Mm. Um, there, a lot is happening with kidnapping, there's yeah. COVID, there's rape, there's all of those things. So I think it's difficult now. So it was it, before, yeah. yes, that is why I've decided that let me help as much as I can, mm -hmm. yeah, and just give them hope that yeah. things will be will be okay. Wow, give them hope. That's that's a that's a powerful one because I mean, nowadays that is what we are lacking, especially our young people. We lack hope. We, we lack to dream big, yes. you know. And so, how would you say how important is it? You know, like you said, you have to think uh, about what is it you want, and you have to 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 reach for it, you know. Yeah. You have to be very passionate about what you want yeah, yeah. because once you put you are passionate and then you put more effort in it, then it's easy. Yeah. You have to like what you are doing. You have to love what you are doing mm. and tell yourself that you can do it. Yeah. Then everything else will just fall into place. Yeah. And I mean, like working in an organization now, you, you, you mentioned that you have to like what you are doing. And you know, it's, always, it's not always about money. Because mm -hmm. right now within your organization, you are doing, you are, doing what you like, yes. you are giving back and you're not yes. getting anything in return mm. for it, mm. you know. So how does that make you feel knowing that you know, I'm going to give of my all, I'm going to do the best I can to make someone else feel nice and I'm not going to get anything in return for it? It makes me feel good because I've been in the same situation before where yeah. I would ask people for favors and they will give me without um, asking for anything in yeah. return. So it's easy for me because I know exactly where I'm coming from. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Well, all right. thank you for that, Lindy. We're going to go to a short break. And for those that's watching at home, I hope that you are tuned in and you're enjoying this conversation. We'll be back after this. All right, guys, welcome back. You're watching Open Studio right here on Cape Town TV. I've got Lindy Weber with me in the studio, who's from an amazing organization called the Santam Foundation. She is head of marketing, and now we're going to speak about everything that the organization is doing to help and bring aid to assist people within communities that's going through all sorts of problems. Because, I mean, Lindy Weber, we are within the pandemic right now, and the organization, which started in March, you know, was really put into the deep end where you had to see to so many issues that, that just came up all of a sudden, you know, and hearing you speak, you, you manage or your organization managed to handle it well and you're still doing so, you know. So how has all those things that has happened during the pandemic up until now, you know, what lessons has it brought about for you? Okay. At the moment we are we are busy working with other organizations okay. and we are giving whatever that we have, whether it's big or small, mm -hmm. because at the moment we're also having the the, the, the drive-through um, food parcel. Oh yeah. Yes, whereby uh, anyone is welcome to mm. drop any anything, mm. so that we can also bring change to the community during this uh, festive season. Oh yeah. So we are accepting any help that yeah. we can get. So we started this uh, food drive from the first of um, of this month uh, until the twenty third. Until the 23rd of yes. this month. Yes. Okay. Well, I mean, we're going into the face of season and many people are still recovering from, from COVID. Yes. And, you know, and many people do not even have food on the table right now. Mm -hmm. And what your organization is doing is actually giving to those people that do not have. You know, so you are calling on anybody, yes. basically. Yes, we're calling on anybody. Anybody who can mm -hmm. just bring anything. It doesn't matter whether it's big or small, just yeah. anything that... Yeah, they can give. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you mentioned also that you, you're working with different organizations or different people, influencers, in, entrepreneurs. And one of the, 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 the best thing I like about your, your concept of the organization is that it does not have to be something tangible. So when we speak about something tangible, it does not have to be food or, or money, but can also be time and effort. Yes, you it know? can also be time and effort. So how many of those have you received so far? Are there any anybody that have been taken under the wings of the organization into mentorship programs? Yes. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, currently we are working with uh, Masi Kime. Okay. And um, 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 Okay, Masi Kime, is that, is that an organization or a business? It's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a home. 
Oh, it's a home. Yes. All right, Lindy, well, you know, you also mentioned that your organization does not only, you know, accept or, or one of the concepts of your organization is that giving does not only have to be something tangible. You know, mm -hmm. it can also be in the form of time and effort. You know, so has there been, you know, anybody that you've taken under your wing, you know, in your organization's wing in, in a mentoring program? Yes, we do have um, organizations that we have taken under our wing. Yeah. And we're also working with other businesses as well. They are helping us mm -hmm. uh, with this. Uh, with the, yeah, so how's, how's this partnership going with, 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 the, with the other people? Because you guys are all youngsters, you know, you, you're full of life. You've got lots of ideas. So how is this, you know, relationship going for you guys? Are you, are you, are you working together well? Are you happy? Yes, we are happy. We are working together well. And uh, we are also getting support Mm -hmm. from other from businesses and from the community as yeah. well so everything so far it's working it's in order mm. yeah. i mean as a marketing as a head of marketing um you are basically working with the finance if, if i'm not mistaken yeah you know so besides having these people these 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 entrepreneurs you know there's there's private you know assessing the company mm -hmm. or, or the organization is there any other form of of, of government support that is coming into the organization? We are still working on that. <laughs> At the moment, no, we don't have any uh, government support. Government support, okay. yes. But we uh, probably will get there as you, time goes on. Yeah, you'll definitely get there. You yeah. saw you saw babies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's why we, th we need the support as much as we. Yeah. Everybody yeah, as can. everybody can help us out here. Mm. So yeah. tell us about the homes that you are working with. Um, you, you know, you don't necessarily have to give the names, but you know, how is the organization helping these homes? We're helping them with as much as we can. With, uh, with uh, some of them, we, we, we give them like clothes, mm. food, mm. and we, we, but first of all, we find out what is it that they need mm -hmm. the most, yeah. and then we work on that. If we can help them with that, then then you do. Then we do. Okay. Yeah. It wow. it can be clothing. It can be uh, finances. It can be food, whatever that we have or whatever that they need. Okay. So that. so now that you we are getting into the festive season, are there you know any programs that you that you've got planned for these for these homes? Yes, as I've mentioned before, that we have this food drive. Oh, yes. Yes, yes that is happening. Mm. So that is part of it. Okay. That is part of the the, 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 the contribution. Mm. And the future plan. That yes. Have for them. Yeah. All right. Oh, thanks, Nindiwe. So as an individual, you know, you, you tend to, to really have emotions attached when you're doing things like this. You know, how have you been able to, because I mean, you go through a lot of stories, you see a lot of people with different backgrounds, you know, mm -hmm. how have you been able to stay sane, you know, how have you been able to keep your emotions and be able to help people based on the needs and not just emotions? I've been able to do that because I've been through that yeah. before. So for me, it makes it easy to understand and, you know, and help wherever I can. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yes. So do you do you plan on going home anytime soon? Or are you happy here? <laughs> I've been at uh, home for ten months. I just came back in October. Okay. Yeah, I just came back in October. So So with the with I'll the way things is going back home, would you would you like to have an organization like this go go also and, and yes. work that side? Yes, 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 yeah. definitely. I would like to do this not not only here in Cape Town but mm. also all over. All over. Yeah, because, mm. I mean, Tavang mentioned that one of the plans is you want to expand yes. the organization yes, and definitely. reach as many people as you can. Yes, that's the plan. That's yeah. the whole plan. Are you not worried it's going to become too much? <laughs> <laughs> we'll cross the bridge well, when we get when there. We get there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you for that, Lindy. We're going to take another break. All right, we're almost at the end of the show, but I, I, I really like what your organization is doing and also how much effort you are putting into helping other people with knowing that you're not getting anything in return for it. It takes heart and courage. And I hope for those that's watching at home that you're really inspired and thankful for what other people is doing because you too can make a difference. So we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we continue with our conversation with Lindiwe. Don't go anywhere.
Right guys, welcome back. You saw watching Operation Studio right here on Cape Town TV. As I mentioned earlier on, I've got Lindy Wa with me in studio. She's from the Santam Foundation. She is the head of marketing. All right, so throughout the show, we spoke a lot about what the organization is doing in terms of helping others, helping give back to the community, be it in terms of food, time, or effort. So we're just going to continue with our conversation now, Lindy Wa. We mentioned what the organization is doing and how they're doing it to help people. So if I'm looking things as a as a person that wants help you know from that point of view and I come to your organization and I say this is my issue you know how can I be helped so is there a step a step process that you take these people or how do you go about it okay it, uh, first we, we, we would like to listen on what kind of help is it that you need but we are open to helping anyone who needs help they can come to us and then we can assist mm. wherever we can yeah. Yeah. So how can how can they do so if they want to, to contact you? Okay, we do have uh they can contact us uh, via our um our so uh, social media, social platform, media yeah. platforms like we do have Facebook, yeah, Instagram and then also our website www.sanctamfoundation.co.za. Uh, uh, okay. Yes. Wow. So they can just look you up in those in those platforms yes send you a message and you'll yes. be able to help them yes they can send us a message and then we will definitely uh, okay assist. so does it go for people that are for both that be looking for help and those people that are able to offer help and support yes yes okay. for those who are looking and those who are who are mm. who will be offering help yeah. yeah so tell us how difficult is it to run a a organization like this you know with little resources and very little support from government it is it is very difficult it is very difficult but yeah we we manage mm. yeah you manage yeah you take each day as it comes yes <laughs> wow <laughs> but hopefully things will get better mm. as time goes on because we just started so we're hoping that in the future mm. we will yeah we'll yeah. get there so if we look into the future say for example uh, we're looking at five years from now mm -hmm. uh, personally where would you want this organization to be? Where are you seeing it already? We see it growing uh, big, like because we can have other clients, maybe in Devon, Johannesburg, like all over. Mm -hmm. That's how big we want to be. Yeah. Because we don't want to be based to be based in Cape Town mm -hmm. only, but we want it to grow. Yeah, because I mean, mm -hmm. your 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 organization is doing very something very unique, something very different, mm -hmm. you know. And it's offering you get organization that only offer food. You get one that only offers this kind of support with um, with social workers or you know and you guys are merging that and you're saying you're saying that come whether you've got food or you've got just skills that you want to teach someone mm -hmm. come and bring it along so i'm sure many other provinces will appreciate that and i mean you coming from uh, just refresh my memory from Devon. you coming from Durban, i'm mm -hmm. sure there is a need for it there yes well. there is so from with your last visit you say you were there for 10 months Yes. With the last visit day and because of the, the pandemic and everything that's happening, mm -hmm. what would you say has been a change or a difference that you experienced in Durban that is not in Cape Town or that you're not experiencing in Cape Town right now? Oh, there's uh, a lot because people lost their jobs. Mm -hmm. A lot of people lost their jobs. People were just sitting at home without food, without anything. So mm -hmm. that was like a, that was a big challenge. Yeah. Especially for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys that were operating during the during the lockdown, I'm sure you were able to operate during the lockdown, and you also operating during the pandemic. How has that been? How has that challenge been like for you guys? It's been uh, it's been a challenge because most of the time we would like be at home. We were forced to be at to work home. From home yeah. yeah, to work from home. So that was a a challenge for us. Mm -hmm. But we could do whatever that we could. We needed to be done. Yeah. Wow. This organization, I can definitely see this organization going. Yeah. I can see it going forward because you're a team of young, you know, um, vibrant young people. Yes. And I, I believe you're a group of four. Yes, we are a group of four. Yeah. So each one brings a different flavor. Yes. And each one brings a different um, expertise into the group. Mm -hmm. And there's one that couldn't be with us today. Um, that yeah. is. Yeah, always. one is yeah, yeah. He's always he's so he's already one. putting in the, he's putting the food in already to where else you want to be all right so mm -hmm. if if you're looking at at how things are going now you know looking to the future 
uh, I think you're with four organizations, four homes that yes, you're working yes, with now? Yes, we work with four homes okay. at the moment, yes. All right, so if we're looking at the future with, with, with those four homes that you're working with, do you think within, within the support that you're getting now that you're able, you able to cover all the needs that is, is, is needed or, or that they require within each of these homes without the, the, the government support? Okay, we we try, but uh, but we we also need the government support yeah. because I think once we get the government support, things will be much easier mm. for us. We can cover almost everything mm -hmm. with the with the government support. government support. Yes, because right now things are a bit difficult. Yeah, you know because we have to approach the uh, business companies, we have to approach the the business owners and the companies. So it's not easy mm. because they are also struggling in their own way. Yeah. So when you, when you do go to these companies and you know when you approach them, is it a, an idea that they they grab onto the first time around, or do you have to keep looking? You have to to keep sending re re um, referrals. You have to you know follow ups. How how I said how does that go for you? We have to make to do the follow ups mm. all the time. It's not easy because now they also have to look at it and think about it mm. and then get back to us. So we have to do the follow-up. Keep doing follow-ups. Yes. Wow, so we, 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 we are far rapidly going towards the end of the show and it's been, very, it's been a pleasure having you and your organization here to chat to us uh, in the show. Just, just before we end, or for those that's watching at home that might have missed it, you know, just to give us one more time your contact details in, in case they want to you know, ask for support or they want to give, offer support mm -hmm. to the organization. Okay, we, they can um, get us through our social media platform, which is Insta um, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and our website, www.sanctumfoundation.co.za. Mm. All right. So we will have those information also displayed on screen as well as the phone number. Okay, Lindy, well, thank you so much for coming to the show today. Thank you for, for, for chatting to us and giving us a bit of insight as to what the organization is doing to help people out in the communities. And thank you, Cape Town TV viewers, for being part of today's chat. Uh, from my side and the Cape Town TV crew, guys, till next time, bye-bye.